Hi everyone, Misty from Fabricat, and I'm coming to you today to give you some basic instructions on how to take preliminary measurements on your windows for clients so that you can get a job quoted on your uh, drapery and Roman shade applications. So please keep in mind what I'm showing you today are meant to strictly be preliminary measurements. I actually insist that you get a professional installer to do your final measures. The goal of today is just to give you some basic instructions so that you can confidently measure windows and give these measurements to your workroom, whether it's Fabricut's workroom or somebody else's workroom, to keep your projects moving forward. What I wanna start with are some basic tools that you're going to need to complete your measurements. I like to either have a clipboard or at least a notepad that has a hard back so that I'm not needing to take a piece of paper and write on a client's table. So number one, clipboard. Number two, if you feel like it, you might want to invest in a tool belt. So something basic, uh, this is a suede pink tool belt uh, that is meant for true installing, but you could just get something simple so that you keep your tools handy and nearby. Um, that way you don't inadvertently leave something behind at a client's house. Next, when I'm measuring, I like to work with a pencil. It sounds kind of silly because, you know, you probably carry a pen with you, but I keep a pencil for erasing if I make a mistake. But also, if I'm doing a whole house, I pull my hair back in a ponytail and I stick the pencil right here so it's always super handy. Sounds like a silly thing to do, but it helps me to just quickly have that easily accessible and I can erase things if I make a mistake. So bring a pencil. Also, you're going to need a tape measure. Now there's all kinds of tape measures out there uh, to choose from and you'll want something that's a good quality tape measure. This one happens to be just a 10 footer. It's really flimsy and if you get it extended really long, it's gonna bow and bend. It's not gonna be a good tape measure to measure windows with. So do not use this kind of tape measure. What I suggest is that you go to a hardware store and you buy yourself a good quality tape measure. This one, as I pull it out, it actually stays put. It doesn't bend. You need something that is long. This is a 30 foot tape measure. And you'll also need to make sure it's thick and sturdy. So your tape measure actually matters a great deal. So anyhow, don't skimp on a tape measure. Don't get a flimsy one, get a, get a good one like this. Another tool that you might want if you're doing a lot of measuring is a laser measurer. So this sort of device is really helpful when you have a scenario like this where you have nothing on the windows. It's not as easy to use, not as helpful if you're measuring a house that has window coverings already in place because what this does is that you put it at the end of the window um, down low and you push the button and the laser will bounce off of you know wall to wall. So if you've got something in the way, it's not great for that. But if you end up needing to be on a construction site and you want to quickly run through that construction site and get all your measurements quickly at one time, laser measure is a good tool to have on that type of a job. Last tool that you will need is a step stool or a ladder that you're bringing yourself. So don't rely on your client's equipment. Don't show up to the house and say, all right, where's your ladder or step stool? No, bring your own tools. It just looks better, more professional. You have control of your own equipment. You know how to use it and you're comfortable with it. So the one I'm working on today is just a three-step step ladder, light duty, just tall enough so that I can get up high and, and see what the tape measure is reading. So those are the tools you're gonna need to go ahead and do a good measure. The next thing you wanna do is draw a picture of what the actual window looks like, including the ceiling and the floor and all the space around the window. So here's how you do that. Okay, so you're gonna draw your ceiling line and you're gonna draw your floor line. These are really important to have in the drawing because we're gonna actually measure this entire space. And then you're gonna draw your window and do not worry about being a good artist. I am not a good artist and that is not necessary when you're making these kinds of drawings. What is important is that you're noting the details of the window and how the window operates so that you can communicate that with your workroom. So what I am noting here is that there's a handle on my window that tells me that the window actually opens this direction. So those are the important details. Don't worry about being a great artist. Okay, now what we're gonna do is measure the inside measurements of the window. Let's start with the width. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and use your good tape measure and go ahead and place the tape measure on the left side inside the window here, inside the little nose, and then stretch it all the way across. And you're going to measure 
also inside the bull nose, and this one is 59 inches wide. We're gonna go ahead and record that on our notepad. So what you'll wanna do is draw that measurement up at the top of the window, 59 inches, and we've made notations so that we know that we've actually taken this measurement inside the window. Okay, for our height, we're gonna go ahead and start from the top. You might think that you wanna start from the bottom, but no, this is why you need a really strong tape measure so that it can stand up as you put it inside the top of the window frame and then stretch it down to the bottom to get your measurement inside the window. So again, this window is measuring 59 inches high and we are inside the bullnose. There you go, let's report that measurement. So again, we're gonna draw that so that we know that that is our inside measurement on the window. Next, we're gonna take the measurement from the ceiling to the top of the window. So I'm up on my step ladder so I can reach easier. Do yourself a favor and get up on the ladder safely so that you can read the tape measure. So we just put it right at the ceiling. And then in this case, I'm actually coming to down below the bull nose because we want to match where we put the tape measure as we were doing the height of the window. So this is 13 and a quarter inches up to the ceiling. So I'm gonna do the same sort of thing where I'm making a notation that makes it quite clear that I have measured the, me the window from the ceiling to the bottom. So I make these sideways lines that tell me that I have measured it that way. Here we go. Now we're gonna take the measurement from the floor to the bottom of the windowsill. So again, good tape measure so that you can go from the floor and stretch it up. And you're gonna to go to the top of the bowl nose, which is going to be 36 and a quarter inches. So we're recording from the floor to the bottom of the windowsill, and that was 36 and a quarter inches. And this is where you can see that my drawing skills are lacking because it is obviously not drawn to scale. 36 and a quarter inches here and 59 there, but don't worry about that. It's no big deal. Okay, so now we're going to measure the left-hand side of the window, and a decision has to be made here as to what's movable and what is not. So in this case, my piece of art can move, but I'm not going to move this table. So we're going to take the measurement from the table to the edge of the window. And that is 17 inches. Let's record that. All right, 17 inches. Now we're looking at the right hand side of the window. And in this case, I don't need this plant to stay here. So we're going to move it out of the way so that we can get a full measurement of our usable space. Okay, we're going to measure it into the corner, and this wall space measures 42 inches. So we're going to draw one more line. So this line is representing my corner, and we're going to make a note that we have 42 inches from the side of the window to the right corner. The last measurement that we need to record on our paper is the sill depth. So you'll want to go ahead and measure from where the window begins to where the sill ends. Now this window is a little more complicated because it's a bull nose, but we're going to measure where the wall um, goes straight after the bull nose. So we're gonna record this as three and a quarter inches. So record that on your paper and now you have a complete set of measurements to submit. So we've taken all the measurements of the window and now there is just one more very important thing that we need to do before we submit this. What you're gonna to wanna to do is take a really good picture of the window, which is challenging. So I'm gonna give you a couple of tips on how to get a good shot of the whole overall view of the window. Let's take a look. Normally when you're taking a picture, the phone wants to focus outside of the window. So if you take that picture, your picture's gonna actually be really dark. You're gonna be focused outside and you're not gonna see the room. So the trick to taking a good picture inside shooting a window, even if the window is really bright, you wanna tap somewhere on the screen where it's a little bit darker. I'm just telling the camera, focus right here instead of right here. Notice how that changes. So when I focus it right there, then I'm able to take a much better picture and I'm able to see exactly what the room looks like. All right, thanks so much for watching today. I hope that you've learned something valuable. I hope that you feel confident to be able to step into your customer's house and be able to take these preliminary measurements so that you can get your jobs quoted. Again, I'm gonna tell you, please do hire your professional installer to get the final measure before you move forward with ordering products, especially in the case of inside mounted window treatments. You do not wanna take just one measurement. You're gonna actually need three measurements to get a proper fit for an inside mount. And I'm not going into all those details today because we have professional installers that we rely on for those sorts of things. They know what they're doing, they're your partner, so use them for that. So um, get out there, measure your client's windows with confidence so that you can move forward with your projects and 
get out there and make some money. All right, have a great day, everybody.